Hi, and welcome to episode 92 of the RP Minute. I'm your host, Rebecca McCabe. Cloud infrastructure and its continuing expansion are the main catalyst for growth in enterprise software, where ERP vendors are able to flourish. This is evident in Oracle's recent financial announcement, releasing its fiscal 2023 Q4 and full year results. Full year 2023 total revenue was $50 billion, up 18% year over year, with Q4 total revenue at $13.8 billion, up 17%. Cloud revenue was $4.4 billion, up 54%, while cloud infrastructure revenue was $1.4 billion, up 76% year over year. The results wrapped with NetSuite Cloud ERP's revenue of $0.7 billion, up 22% year over year. With Oracle opening an increasing number of cloud regions, it is no wonder cloud revenue has grown so substantially. But 76% growth in cloud infrastructure is a sign of much deeper things brewing in the ERP space. These infrastructure offerings will continue to change the landscape and set vendors like Oracle OCI, Microsoft Azure, and the like, apart from the competition in the coming years. The continued growth within the cloud ERP space has driven leadership changes at Workday, with the appointment of Emma Chalwin as the Chief Marketing Officer, CMO, effective July 17, 2023. Chalwin joins the team from Salesforce, where she served as Executive Vice President of Field Marketing and was responsible for creating go-to-market plans, driving brand awareness and messaging, as well as leading demand generation globally. This aligns with Workday's market expansion, as they work to break into previously underserved segments. Chalwin will help with Workday's image and awareness as they shift their focus. These innovative cloud advancements have also enabled vendors to easily release new functionality, further exemplified by Salesforce's release of a new Mobile App Plus offline access solution to help mobile employees improve their productivity and access data from across Salesforce's Customer 360, including in areas with limited or no internet connectivity. With this solution, users will be able to configure offline data, customize the Salesforce experience, and sync offline data all from their mobile devices. In this data-driven era, where more and more employees are working remotely, innovations such as these are going to be vital to the next evolution of business and technology, increasing efficiencies and overall effectiveness of application users. Thanks for tuning in to the RP Minute. We are always looking for newsworthy material to share with our listeners, so send us breaking ERP news. Be sure to subscribe to our Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube channels so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next week. Thank you.